Last night, State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister finding out she would take on current Governor Kevin Stitt in this November's general election. And she joins us now live to talk about the win and what's next. Uh, uh, Joy Hoffmeister, thanks for being here with us this morning. Thank you. So good to yeah. be here. We know you're so busy. We were just talking during the commercial interview after interview. So uh, congrats on winning the Democratic uh, primary there. Um, your reaction this morning, how are you feeling? So grateful. Uh, so many volunteers, so many uh, have been stepping up and are ready for change uh, and we are hitting the ground running today. Okay, looking forward here to the general election. What does your campaign look like now? You know, our campaign is sprinting to November. So that means continuing what we have been doing uh, in the primary, which is reaching out to voters all across the state. I have 500,000 miles on my car. We're gonna add some more to that as we continue to sit across kitchen tables, uh, have cups of coffee and diners and listen to Oklahomans. And uh, you know, their voice matters. It has while I've been state superintendent and we'll keep it going. Right, the work does not end after yesterday. Uh, if elected to the governor's seat. Uh, what would you like to see for Oklahoma? Some of your top priorities in your term? Yeah, well, I'm an independent thinker and like a lot of Oklahomans, I value faith and family, education and hard work. And uh, this is a time where we need to get things done. Um, a Governor Stitt said he'd run this state like a business and by his own standards, that business of Oklahoma is failing. We have schools that are desperate for resources. Our healthcare costs are rising and we need more really good paying jobs for Oklahomans and build and strengthen that workforce. We did speak to Governor Stitt earlier this morning about um, a headline that just came in this morning about the Supreme Court ruling uh, that Oklahoma can now prosecute crimes committed on tribal land if the defendant is not Native American. Governor Stitt calling that ruling a victory. What is your response? You know, it is certainly important to have the ability to keep communities safe, but our sovereign tribal nations have been at the table ready to work to ensure that and are doing that. But sadly, they haven't had the governor uh, government to government working together to iron out those details. Shared jurisdiction is not a new concept. This is not changing uh, the outcome of McGirt, um, but it is certainly a time where we need to set aside the division that Governor Stitt has been sowing and work together with our tribal sovereign nations. Did you know they have a $15 billion collective impact uh, every year on our state's economy? Uh, these are important partners and um, members of communities all across the state. So as we elaborate on that, uh, we also got a statement from the Cherokee Nation. They're disappointed in the ruling and in their statement, they called on Governor Stitt to come to the table and work with them. As we know, the relationship between the tribes and the state has been strained. If elected to be governor, how would you work on mending that relationship? Well, it would be a top priority, of course. And I have had seven and a half years of working in a partnership with our sovereign tribal nations to support children in education and communities um, here in the state. But we also know that we need a governor who comes at this in an approach that is one of collaboration, wanting to partner, recognizing that what is good for all Oklahomans is when we unite, um, not what Governor Stitt has been doing, pitting neighbor against neighbor, sowing uh, chaos and division. And uh, Oklahomans are saying they are tired of the self-dealing cronyism and those things that do not unite and bring um, our state forward. Another thing on Oklahomans' mind right now is inflation. Um, yes. Oklahomans are struggling. Uh, people really need relief. They're struggling with their day to day. Uh, what would you do? What would you like to see done as far as relief and getting people the help that they need? Well, it is a real issue that is impacting families all across the state, uh, whether it be a higher fuel pump, you know, price at the pump or even groceries. And we need a governor who will not just be reading off a national script, but actually solving real problems. And it's not good enough to say that we have low unemployment. It's the quality of those jobs that matters. I was talking to a mom who has three jobs, four kids, and she says home ownership is out of reach for her. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. When we have a skilled workforce ready to take on those meaningful careers and pathways, uh, those are going to be the kinds of jobs I'm talking about and interested in, but you've got to invest in education first and strong and healthy communities. 
So what are some of your ideas or your proposals that you would bring to the table when it comes to addressing those issues? Yeah, well, we need a bold investment to give our uh, students a world-class education. It starts with teachers. We have a teacher shortage we have been sounding the alarm about for years. Uh, that's a lingering problem in Oklahoma, and we are competing with other states and other industries. Uh, we can do more, and it takes a governor who gets how uh, when it is good for kids, it's good for business. Uh, also, when it comes to health care, we need to be working with our hospital administrators, uh, with our physicians, to ensure that they have access to a, a good quality um, Medicaid expansion that will allow for them to be able to uh, have what is needed between a patient and a doctor and not have any type of interference. Governor Stitt wants to privatize Medicaid. And, you know, it's going to hit kids hardest. Half of our children in Oklahoma qualify for Medicaid. Uh, before we let you go, um, what is your message to Oklahomans this morning as you're moving forward to the election in November after last night's win? Well, our, uh, our message is uh, join the team. And we're so grateful for all of those who have already stepped forward. We are building momentum. Uh, there's a lot of energy in the campaign, and we are eager to see more and more Oklahomans feel that their voices are heard. It's time to get back to those Oklahoma values of common sense, working together, uh, respect for one another, and courage. Okay, Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister, Democratic candidate for the gubernatorial race. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. We appreciate your I time. I appreciate it.